Hello, welcome to the January 2019 Steam Shop update. I'm here to tell you we've made some really fabulous progress over the last 45 days. So walk with me as we talk about all of these major milestones and the significant progress we've made reassembling the locomotive. As you can see, standing on the pilot deck of the Big Boy locomotive, it's a locomotive once again. It's nearly completely reassembled. So thank you very much for your support, and we look forward to connecting with everyone on the new Steam Club Facebook page. Thank you. We have made some excellent progress since you last joined us here in the Steam Shop. Let's walk through how we raised the giant boiler and rear engine to carefully roll the front engine back under to connect both engines back together with the huge 450 pound articulation hinge pin. When the boiler is raised high enough to clear components such as the centering device spring casting and the front boiler bearing wear liner, these are part of the front part of the big boy's boiler. It places the entire 220 ton frame and boiler at a very steep angle. This creates an alignment problem when fitting the two engine castings back together. As we slowly rolled the front engine back into position, we fabricated large heavy-duty steel track wedges that we clamped into exact position on the rail. As the rear engine was approaching the connection point between the two engines, the number four driver on the front engine began to climb up our steel wedge ramp. And just like that, everything was lined up nicely. As the articulation tongue, the rear part of the front engine casting that mates into the front part of the rear engine bed casting was coming together, we had to carefully continue to lower the front part of the boiler down to fit the front boiler bearing back together on the brand, brand new wear liner on the front engine bearing plate. Additionally, we were slowly fitting that massive newly fabricated exhaust slip joint back onto its spherical swivel joint mounted underneath the smoke box. When this was completed, we then began installing the rear engine spring rigging. Just like we did on the front engine, fitting everything into position and lacing everything back together with all new pins and bushings. We have made very rapid progress with our overhead crane wheeling the rear engine and have progressed beyond installing tubes and flues and have nearly all the heavy steam, air and water piping now assembled on the locomotive and we are progressing with air brake piping underneath the big boys all new cab deck. Thank you very much for all your support and we look forward to the opportunity to connect with everyone on the Steam Club page. Thank you very much for watching.